Hello and welcome back to my Let's Play of Aragorn in European of Source 4. And well, let's see, we're still going to keep going in this war. Manpower is a bit low, but not enough to really... I'm not sure. Anyway, I'm quite sure that the genders of these have to be opposite. Alphonse, I'm quite sure, is a male. I'm quite sure Juan is male. Oh wait, it has the... I'm a fucking idiot. There's symbols right next to the names that says their gender. And I haven't, I've only just noticed that. Uh, I'm an idiot. Well, either way, Portugal is completely and utterly screwed. England is just, I think they've lost, to say the least. And Portugal's last piece of land is being sieged by me. Who's taking a bunch of attrition. Enough to probably cause my manpower to start to dwindle soon. Well, could be worse. This will bring us closer to Portugal. I believe that can end with them having a PU over Portugal, but... Mm. Now, personally, I want Portugal to annual their treaties with Castile, because then it's a focused fight, me versus Castile. Anyway, next tech... I'm not going to be taking the next military tech for a little bit, I think. Unless it is much more worthwhile in a few things in... Well, I'm most likely going to go either offensive or quantity. And I'm almost certain it's quantity, since that'll give me much more manpower. And eventually it'll give me a much bigger force in the first place. Which will assist very greatly in dealing with a Castilian enemy. Naples loves me. Well, eight years before the end of this century, I might be able to integrate them. Just luckily, or so on. I see. I gain some prestige from that, I can live with that. It's good enough. Send one army back first, and then the other. What is my participation looking like here? Does it even say... Oh, it's right here. Again, I'm retarded. Sorry. I'm going to maintain the diplomat there. When the ref uh, reformation kicks off, I'm gonna I am going to try to remain... I'm not going to try to remain Catholic, I'm going to switch to Protestant. But I'm going to try to remain allies with the French. Didn't really get to target the Castilians during a time of weakness, but... Oh well. Wait, I, was, I should pass through my land, not just... Uh, look, I'm making mistakes, guys. I'm an idiot. Yay. If I'm lucky, I might be able to actually uh, turn his dynasty into Trastamara and possibly somehow get a union over the French, but I would very unlikely be able to hold on to that. Anyway, where's the French armies? Right over here, alongside Naples. Naples is doing some damn good work. I'll just leave him do his thing then. Then again, I can still assist. I'm going to get over there with my main army. I'm not going to send the other one over, since it'll be a bit... Uh, I should send the other one over, but I have plenty of allies over there in the first place, so I'm not really concerned. 
also what ah Naples must have occupied it. So are the French going to go and assist them there? They are defending in mountains, I believe. No, Wiener's farmlands. But guess who's getting there? The French. <laughs> yeah, English are going to lose there, no doubt about it. I'm going to siege up this. Actually, I can go and kill this little stag. Yeah, my manpower's recovering already from the little dip about 6,500 up to now 7,000 or nearing it. So I'm going to try and take these out with minimum manpower loss. They are defending, but, you know, it's against numbers and superior technology. So it should be much more costly for them than for me. He's just sending in more troops. I'm not really interested in the Champagne node. And these other ones, one's locked in, instant squish. The other one's there. And he's retreating still, so I'm going to take out the ones I can catch, which is 2,000, then I'll occupy this, and so on. War exhaustion is increasing, bloody hell. And that's, that's nice. That's very nice. But if things do come down to it, I will be fighting the Castilians. Their weak air is still going to cause issues, I think. Just in general. In the Shadow Kingdom events, well, a lot of things are really set by the deadline of the 1500s. My integration of Naples, which is a hefty boost to my strength. The personal union, or the Iberian wedding rather. Burgundy. It's quite significant. So I'm going to take a, seat, a back seat on this. I've participated enough, I think, really. And England is going to peace out soon enough anyway. And I do want more tax, as per usual. So this area is actually a lot more vulnerable than I first thought. Well, in particular, Austria just gets free access through a lot. But then he had to go through Naples, who has no forts. Anyway. Let's see. I don't think this is going to last much longer. I'm just going to sit back. And prepare. So what I'm thinking is... What will occur... So this guy is going to come to the throne soon. He's not as good at military, but he's got ma good admin, and he's got more diplo, and I do want some of the admin. The military is a bit more critical, but not to an extreme extent. National unrest down, that's bloody lovely. Do I need this? Not really. Anyway, Castillo, I doubt, is going to grow that much more in strength. And they're still, they've got the 0, zero, zero so it could be a very nice war. 22 favours, that's good. So I can spend some of this to increase trust. And I'm not going to declare just yet, so I can get that up to 60. Judging by how the Castilians want some of the French land, they might be a little less than happy. They share England as an enemy though, so that's an issue. So for the moment, the French are only a defensive ally, I think, against them. But anyway, the Reformation is actually going to be a nice big turning point, since I'll be able to go Protestant and then take Rome, and annoy the Papacy now, without any of the massive negative modifiers. So you get, look, Diplo Rep, and so on and so on.
and so on. It's actually a pretty harsh modifier that is. So Castillo, I'd imagine, is keeping his army a, a bit up, topped up. Now, with my papal influence, I am going to try to get... Where is it? Possibly the... I'm trying to think of which one I want. And I think I'm just going to go for the levy urge tax, but I'm not sure. Now, I do not want Castillo getting it, in all honesty, because Castillo is a piece of crap. And it looks like there will not be an Iberian wedding. I'm just cancel the mission. I'm not going to get it done for a while, if at all. So, I, like, it does seem to commonly occur, but it hasn't. So I'm a good bit ahead of him, at least. He's got Grenades and Separatists. And he actually can't deal with them? That is... that is hilarious. Anyway, I'll get better production and then I'll be able to get my first idea. That is going to piss them off, but, ah oh well, what a shame. Sorry, but, but, you're not allowed that. And that does annoy them, but they're still not going to turn rebellious. They could just start claiming them anyway. And I'll start with, like, Navarre, uh and so on. Hmm. So I'm just getting whatever gets me the most, well, gets me the most money. If I could speak English, that'd be nice. So Zaragoza, then it's going to be seemingly the Tarragona and then Barcelona. So, mm. Soon enough, I'm just going to have churches everywhere. <laughs> it's a nice thing to have money. The Mamluks don't like me, it seems. The Castilian army actually seems moderately worn down after that. Or well, some of it. The Mamluks have been battered by the Ottomans, as, you know, normal. Caraman is still alive, which means the Ottomans look weird, but, yeah. And I bet you Castile is going to end up at war with Hungary, and, well, not Hungary, with the Ottomans at some point. It's almost inevitable, I'd say. Trader, no. Oh, wait, you're not the one I cared about, no. Nah. So this gives a permanent local fortifications modifier on Girona, which is here. So that's actually going to make this fort tougher the entire game. Now this will increase my trade. I just get... That's twice I've had that event now. And that is brilliant. So that increases how much money I'm actually going to make. Well, let's see. This is now about to arrive, and I am perfectly fine with that. I'll be taking the focus off when I can, which is eight years from now. He's going to come to the throne very soon. 
which will reduce the military power by two, but gain two here and a lot more here. <coughs> Bit of a cough. Nothing new. Help with money again? Or not. So I'm a little ahead in military technology, which is perfectly fine. If I can get two techs ahead of him, I think I'll be able to deal quite reliably with him. So, first province will be Navarra, because I do want to cut France off from a direct land border with Castile. Then again, France doesn't really want anything from Castile. Just hates him. Well, it doesn't hate him. They're actually quite good buddies, which is, you know, a bad thing. So, Navarra, then I guess I'll claim Murcia, and then so on and so on. Here it goes, Navarra is going to be claimed first. Nation is now being ruled by this guy. No heir as of yet. The papacy wants an alliance, and in all honesty, I'm going to turn it down. Soz, but. But you're eventually going to get killed by me anyway. Granada actually managed to get this fort quite close to being, well, not Granada but the Separatists, got quite close to being sieged. So first of all, quantity ideas or offensive ideas. Aristocratic are also an option but they don't seem too great to me. Well in some areas yes, but... Uh, Well, that's nice. I got more troops I could have, but, you know, I don't need them as of yet. So I could actually take, I think, two ideas of the first military idea I take. And this could be quite worthwhile to take the offensive ideas instead for the improved leaders. And eventually the discipline. But defensive will give more morale. Quantity just gives more troops. But I need those troops. So I think I am going to go quantity, just due to the sheer advantage it can give. But I can also take this tech, though it's not that far ahead now. I can still try to take it quite early on, which would be nice and advantageous due to the simple fact is military tactics, combat width, infantry fire and infantry shock are all made more relevant and they all become higher. So I'm going to take quantity and get the first idea, probably, for the additional manpower. So 35,000 men now can be uh, used by my nation, which is plenty to really deal in terms of a attrition war. And now I'll go for the next technology of military, which will be done in presumably four or three years. Almost certainly though it will be three or even two, due to the simple fact is, this ahead of time penalty is going to go away. France would join. I'll gain that admin. So I do want to gain a few more claims. But I do need to gain a few a bit of manpower back. Favour neither party, you can both fuck off. And well, it's time I end this episode here. So 
the war with Castile is actually quite eminent. And it'll be quite the significant war, I think. Now, I'm not going to be taking this. I'll be taking this as soon as possible for as big of advantage as possible. Either way, thank you for watching, and I shall see you next time. Bye for now.